Boom. There we go. On. Wild. Yeah, boy. Woo! Look at him jump. That is another stonker fish, mate. Fantastic. Hey, what's up, guys? Phil here from the Wild Table. I am back. And I don't just mean back on YouTube. I am back at the same river where I filmed last week. I couldn't help myself. This uh, place was fishing so good. And I caught so many wicked fish here. I just had to come back and give it another crack. But I tell you what, I am so freaking relieved right now. <laughs> I drove here and like, I was already here two thirds of the way and I stopped and looked at one of the rivers and it was chocolate milk. Just brown as brown can be. Like you wouldn't stand a chance catching a fish in that. And I just turned in here and I just looked at the river and it's like, it's got color, but it's so much clearer. Like if it was anywhere near as brown as the, as the main rivers coming in, it would have been game over. I would have had to pull the pin and do something different. I've also got the rooftop tent with me. So I'm actually gonna stay here the night. It's already three o'clock in the afternoon. So I'm gonna fish all afternoon and then I'm gonna camp over the night. I'm gonna make some food. I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna sleep in my tent and then fish again tomorrow. Fingers crossed. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> Last time I was here, I had only two GoPro batteries. Well, there's like 20 odd batteries in here. So that's not gonna happen again. Man, I was so, like, <laughs> when I got here last time around and I caught a fish right off the bat, I was so pumped, so pumped. Um, so I'm actually starting at the same spot just because it was so good last time around. But my game plan is to not linger on this stretch of river for too long. I actually want to go further up and explore further up the river. But I can't help but cast a, a fly right there and see if we can catch another big fish. So. Got a bunch of dries, but these purple buggers right here, them is, the, uh, them is my first choice always. I've tied all these myself. Uh, that in itself is always a huge pleasure for me, catching something that I've tied myself. Notice the last time you couldn't really see it so good, so maybe you can see it a little bit better this time around. Just a nymph, purple. I like purple, it's my go-to color. It's got a couple of goose biotes at the back as a tail. It's a, it's a uh, partridge feather as heckle. I like these uh, little nymphs a lot. Tied on a size 12 Hanak jig hook, which is my go-to uh, nymph. Nymph uh, setup. Trout feed somewhere in a high percentile like that underwater. Aquatic insects, larvae, that sort of stuff. That's why, like for me, the, the indicator nymphing system just, just works. And when something works, don't fix it. And I just did something wrong. It's because I'm a man and I can't concentrate on two different things. Ridiculous. Get in there. I'm gonna lock the truck and we're gonna start fishing. Let's go. First thing Chizzy said to me when I got home was, did you clean your lenses? <laughs> yep, sure I did. Let's go, <laughs> same spot. I bet you any money we can get another fish out of here. Okay, cool, here we go. This is where um, I caught my trout in the last one. You can see the river's got more color today, but it's not too bad. Like it's got enough visibility that I think um, fish are gonna spot the, the nymphs. Enough chatting, let's find out. I don't see a fish this time now, but I think that's just because there's more color in the river. Oh, I just saw a silver flash right there. That is definitely a trout. Watch this. Boom, there we go, on. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. I don't know if it's just the uh, the start of the new season or whatever, but like just being able to catch fish pretty much on the first cast is just something so cool. Come here. Good fight, good fight. 
Boom! Oh, you nearly had to. Come on. There we go. Beauty, look at that. That is a beautiful fish. Yes, fantastic. Alrighty. That is, that is, in my opinion, that is the perfect eating size fish. So I brought my, um, it's actually a cooler bag rather than a chiller. Same, same idea, it's insulated, it holds ice, it holds temperature. Uh, but I find this thing takes up less space. Perfect trout. It's gonna go right here next to the ice. Some cool for later. Bob's your uncle. Well, so fish is on ice. That's wicked. That took me all of uh, five minutes, I believe. Less, I think. Uh, I'm gonna head back down there and see if we can catch another couple of fish. Um, and then, yeah, I'm gonna move on. I'm just gonna drive the ute further up the, up the valley. Right. I'm just gonna try literally the same thing as what I did last time. <clears throat> I'm just gonna try and fishing the stretch here a couple of times. I bet you any money that there's more trout in here. But the fight just then might have spooked him a little bit. Pretty freaking cool though when you get to like one fish in the chiller in the first like five minutes of your trip. I bet you any money there's another fish in here. What do you reckon? What do you reckon? Oh, no. <laughs> uh. Had me, had me excited. Must have spooked him out a little. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's a bit of a late, bit of a late reaction on my behalf, but and it's, a, it's quite a bit small of a fish. But I knew there was another trout here. Yeah, it's only a little guy. This one. Oh yeah! <laughs> you gotta love these little aerial displays, eh? You know, like one thing that's really cool about being new to a any kind of given sport or whatever is you don't really care if it's not like huge. I'm like, I, you know, I've been fly fishing now for a couple of years and I'm, I'm not, I'd say I'm not terrible at it anymore. But I'm still, I'm just pumped like any fish that I catch. It doesn't have to be a huge fish, you know, small fish. I'm just, I'm just pumped. I'm just pumped to catch fish. Boom, just like that. Look at God, I love trout. Look at the pretty colors on these rainbows in here, man. Healthy looking fish, eh? Look at So dope. Gotta love catching these fish. You beauty. Uh, there you go. Oh yeah, off she goes. As I said, we're gonna um, check out more of this river. Yeah, just keen to see more of it, eh? I mean, this spot fishes well, so, you know, if I don't have any luck further up the river, I'll just come back here. I've got the rod sticking out of the side of the window. I wonder if that's a terrible idea. It's only sticking past the mirror by a little bit, but, uh... <laughs> right, I'm gonna go to the next uh, fish game access point and see what's up. So we're just gonna pull over here and, uh... Let's see what we can catch over here. Definitely put me a little bit on edge driving with that rod out the window though. <laughs> Good way to break your stuff. Let's see what's up here. I mean, this whole thing just looks so trouty. Oh, look at that. That was a, that was a trout uh, taking a, an insect or something off the top. Cool. That was right here, right there just now. Okay, no joy in that fish, moving on. One of the uh, biggest tips that I can give myself a year ago is uh, get a waiting staff. Just something to help out when the current gets a bit much, as it does. And um, especially when you're in a river with like slightly slippery rocks and when the current picks up a little bit like it has now. Two weeks ago when I was here, it was so mild. Didn't make a difference, but today a um, lot more water in the river, stronger current. That that walking pole just helps so much. How beautiful is this place? I sometimes can't get over it. What an idyllic piece of water, eh? Just so beautiful. I love it when uh, when the water like really flows over these little shingle beds and it just 
I, I don't know, man. It just is so fucking beautiful. It's a little shallow and a little rough here right now, so I need to keep moving. coming up five o'clock I think. At some point soon I'm gonna to have to start thinking about making my way back to the truck, hey? It's gonna start getting dark. Temperature has definitely dropped heaps. I'm gonna pop up back to the road. I think there's a, like a, an easy-ish exit right here. <coughs> um, and we'll drive a little bit further up and see, see what the next spot looks like. I wanna find a nice spot to camp. Right, well, that was an easy way out. At least this must be a fish in game access. Man, this bush is alive with bumblebees. Okay, I'm gonna hoof it back to the truck. I wanna drive a little bit further up before it starts getting dark. Anyway, I'm at the truck. I wanna drive up a little bit further. I'm kinda hoping that we can find a spot that's a little bit nicer for camping. Just kinda driven <laughs> all around the block. This road goes miles up, man. Crazy. Um, and there's a couple of really nice camping spots up there, but I've decided to come back here because A, just a little bit more daylight, B, very flat, um, and that rooftop tent, believe me, you wanna try and get as flat as you can. Yep, without further ado, I'm gonna set up my camp and gonna make some dinner. Right up, that's a uh, tent all set up. Oh, I love this thing. Cheers. This is the hard stuff. Ah, sparkling water. Yeah, I know, I'm bad. Cool. Right, that's not gonna take me long, very long to get hot and prawns. Don't need a lot of time to cook, which is great. All I'm gonna do is garlic and prawns in there. Oh man, that was so quick, eh? Why can your stove at home not do that? Oh, that smells good. Oh, here we go. A little bit of chili oil. Spicy, spicy flavor. I reckon they are yeah, pretty well done. Hey. That is some good Kentucky. That is yum. Well. Oh. Beautiful. <coughs> Beautiful day. Beautiful place. No complaints. Feels peaceful and safe and comfortable. Just missing my Chessy. Would be nicer with Chessy. All right guys, it is reasonably late. I'm tired and um, I'm gonna hit the hay. I will see you guys in the morning. Oh. Mm. oh, that wasn't a bad sleep. Still a little dark outside, but I'm gonna have a cuppa and then I think I'm gonna walk down the river and fish my way up back to this spot this morning. Coffee. 
Uh, so yeah, so dead quiet all night. I didn't hear a thing. Um, except the river. So beautiful just listening to the river gurgling away all night. Really relaxing sound. Look at the sun just hitting the hills. This is what I live for. <sighs> right now I'm pumped to get down to the river. All right team, let's crackety crackety. I'm gonna trudge my way down this road a little ways. Never, never really that easy climbing down a bank with a, a fly fishing rod, eh? This is all right though. Here we go, there's the river. A lot of good water here that I couldn't show you last time because I ran out of battery. There's a nice deep pool in front of me here, so I'm gonna drop back down and see if we can fish that. Got a different nymph on this time. I've tied on something green. The rooster heckle. Uh, <coughs> so green and brown. I think it's got a black bead. So let's see if they take that. Definitely. Ooh. Yep, there we go. On baby. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, look at him jump. Ah, oh, good fish. Not a huge fish, but a good fish. Oh man, beauty. Oh, they took the green. Yeah, boy. Oh, look at that. Boom, backcountry chrome. Dope. Dope, 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 dope. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful backcountry chrome, eh? Small fish, but man, they fight good around here. It's a very unceremonious release. Come on, pal. You got this. Here we go. Oh yeah. Spectacular. Right, so I've just uh, climbed through the bush a little bit higher up, but this is very much still part of the same uh, run I guess and it's still like quite deep through here so for sure there's going to be some more trout purple nymph on here purple is good luck for me sometimes I shouldn't say what's on my mind <laughs> was that a jinx? man I wish you'd seen that hookup that was wild he was wild he came flying through to take that thing like I knew there was a fish in here. Oh my God, he just flew through that. Oh, I wanna land this fish. Let me get him to come into the shallows here. Oh, I lost him. Oh, I had a feeling. Gah. Oh, he spat the hook. Oh. Got it. God, he smoked that thing, man. That was such a cool hookup. Ah, uh, well, can't land more. I, th I thought this was gonna work out well. It's got like a long deer hair tail, and then these little wings, and purple. <laughs> oh, what a shame, man. I would have loved to have landed that fish. Ah, oh, well, moving on. Oh, I'm kinda gutted I didn't land that fish, man. That was just, that was the best fight I've had here yet. You can see it coming up from a couple of meters up, like silver flashes went woof. And that guy had spunk. Let's have a look in here. Whee! Right there. Good cast. Any takers? Any takers? Oh, yes. Takers. Oh, very nice. Oh, good fish, too. Beautiful. On the purple. Oh, you bastard. Oh, what happened there? What happened there? Oh, my knot failed. Right, mate. I've done a uh, triple surgeon and it failed. Oh, what a bummer, dude. Yeah, it failed. That was such a good hookup. I really wanted to land that fish, and I hate knowing that there's a hook stuck in that fish now. Well, 
there's another really beautiful um, spot ahead of here. This, this sort of just meanders through here now, so I'm just gonna keep fishing my way up. It's looking beautiful. I reckon we'll get some more fish out of here. That was gutting, but oh well. More fish. This is looking quite good here. Oh, fish on. I didn't even realize it. Wow. I thought it was uh, just lagging in the water. Oh, good fish too. Very nice. Oh, that's a good trout, this one. That's a good trout. Trying to get him into the shallow up here. If we can get him over here, we're good. Really hope I can land this fish. Ooh, there he comes. Come on, buddy. Keep your head up. Keep your head up. Definitely want to get him up here in the shallow. Well, we got him out of the deep. That's a good start. Didn't really want him down current for me though. Want him up current for me. Come on, bro. Oh, that is a stonker fish. Oh, my goodness. Oh, did I get all that? Yes, camera's still rolling. Look at that, that is a stonker trout, mate. Oh, my goodness. Oh yes, oh man, pumped. Look at him, look at her rather. She, that's beautiful. All right, I'm gonna take the hook out of that and see if we can get a nice picture. There was a fight too, eh? Look at that. Now that's a trout, my friend. Heck yeah, beauty. That is a fat trout, mate. Fantastic. How cool was that? Heck of a fight. There you go, mate. There she goes. So glad I redeemed myself after hooking that fish and snapping my line. That was so good. Should have weighed it, actually, huh? I reckon that was an easy couple, couple of kg. Oh, man. Pumped. That, <laughs> that just made my trip. That just made my trip. Just gonna do a couple of drifts through this hole here. Put the indicator up a little bit so our nymph should be somewhere in the right vicinity. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, yeah boy. Those little, those slightly smaller fish just seem so full of gusto at the moment. Crazy. Right. I should be able to land this one. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah. That might be another eater right there. Oh, that's another nice looking trout, man. Look at that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep this one for an eater. Boom. I was wondering what these paradise ducks were on about. Look at, there's their little chicks. Ah, oh, man, they've just been squawking at me all day. I was wondering what they were doing. There's, uh, there's, there's mom over there. She's worried that I'm gonna hurt their chicks. I might get out of here for that reason. I'll just go further up and let mama bird return to her little ducklings. This is cool. This is a uh, New Zealand fuchsia, which has berries that are edible. So that's something I keep an eye out for when I'm hunting and fishing. <laughs> Got a little, um... Oh, the words are missing. Aquatic insect, whatever. It's brown. I tied it myself. See if we can get something out of here. Oh, that's a fish. Oh yeah. It's another nice, nice fish actually. Hi, whoop. Uh, <laughs> that fish just realized that he's hooked. Yeah, boy. Yeah, you're coming to the shallows. That's where we want you. Man, this is like backcountry river fishing at its finest. I don't even know how many fish I've caught on this trip. It's been really cool. There we go. Jeez. Look at that. Oh, yes. Look at this fish. That's another good one, man. <laughs> oh, what a trip this has been. Woo! 
Wow, something had a crack at this fish as well. Look at that bite mark. Nearly lost them. Look at that is another stonker fish, mate. Fantastic. He's got a big old bite mark in him on, on both sides. Something definitely tried to eat this fish at some point or another. Oh, <laughs> what a trip it's been! <laughs> Wicked! <sighs> this guy's going back in the drink. I wonder what tried to eat you. Super. Super. Just good. Fishing on this trip has been so good, man. Yes! Um, at some time soon, this river up here is going to hit the road. And when it does, I'm going to pop back up on the road and walk back to my truck. I need to get this fish on ice. Alrighty, so... <sighs> Man, what a trip. I can't tell you how pumped I am. That was phenomenal. Um, yeah, I'll check you guys in the truck. That's a wrap. This has been an awesome trip. I've caught some of the biggest fish I've ever caught. This river has just got my heart, man. It's so beautiful here. I, I'm going to come back here several times this summer for sure. Great place to camp. I'm going to definitely bring Chessy along for an adventure. Um, that's me. It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm going to head home. It's going to take me two and a half hours to get home. But, you know, I've got two trout on ice. I caught a heap of fish. I got a heap of photos and videos. And I can't wait to share this adventure with you guys. Thanks so much for following along. I hope you enjoyed it. The next one is going to be something other than trout fishing, so bear with me. See you then. Boom.